Hello fishies and welcome back to Freshwater Fish Fact Friday. My name is Mermaid Echo and I'm a creative freshwater educator and this week is Gar Week coined by Solomon David, a faculty member of the Department of Fisheries, Wildlife and Conservation and Biology at the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. He is spearheading Gar Week for the third year in a row and it's an even bigger social media sensation than it ever has been before. So of course I and Freshwater Fish Fact Friday had to chime in. I asked you what you wanted to know about gar and you told me that you wanted to know about ancestry good answer gar look about the same as they did 215 million years ago making them one of the most iconic ancestral species out there they have the slowest known rate of molecular evolution among all jawed vertebrates which means they don't mature very quickly just like that one guy who you know kind of still lives in his mom's basement in your hometown but the gar are way cooler than him, I promise. Their slow molecular evolution just means that their speciation diversification has slowed down. Like, they mean their bones are good the way they are, golly nabbit. It's so slow that their only closest living relative is the bofin. I can't talk about gar without introducing you to one of my very favorite. His name is Checkers. Well, that's what I call him anyway. And he is the tiniest gar living at the Riemann Aquarium in Discovery World. Checkers and all gar are from the class Actinopterygii, which includes all ray-finned fishes. And the other option of bony fish classification is Sarcopterygii, which includes lobe-finned fishes. Did you know there's a big difference between ray-finned fish, like gar, and lobe-finned fish? Here's a simple breakdown. Lobe-finned fish are the ones that humans evolved from. They have sturdy bones and hips and shoulders that support their body weight and eventually evolved into limbs. Ray-finned fish, on the other hand, like gar, don't have that kind of structure. Their fins can't support the weight. They're built for swimming, not walking. So your fun fact for the next party you go to is that you are more closely related to a lungfish or a coelacanth, Sarcopterygii species, than a gar, Actinopterygii species. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about their scales, one of the coolest ancestral traits on gar. They have these tough ganoid scales made from a substance called dentine, among some other things. Fun fact, dentine is the same material that makes up our teeth, kind of. Scientists believe that teeth actually evolved from ancient fish scales that once lined their mouths to help mash up food. How wild is that? Here's a cool photo of a ganoid scale I took under a microscope. There's so much more about gar that I want to tell you about, but for now, if you like creative freshwater education and you want to be friends with fish like checkers, you should follow me. What should we talk about on the next Freshwater Fish Fact Friday? Never swim alone. Bye.